five, a Bay Manette man is dead, shot by two Baldwin County deputies after they say he fired at them early today in the Perdido area. Those two deputies are now on administrative leave. WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams is live tonight at the sheriff's office in Bay Manette. And Debbie, this whole thing started with a conversation and ended in gunfire. Yeah, and it all took less than four minutes, Pete. That's according to Sheriff Haas Mack. All of it captured on body cams and dash cams. All of it now part of an investigation that is underway. Red and blue lights lit up the early morning sky in Perdido along County Road 47. Among the flashing lights, evidence markers dotting the main road where deputies had spotted a man walking just after 1.30 in the morning. Wearing dark clothing, uh, wearing a hoodie. Um, and so they thought that that was a little bit unusual. He was in the area of one abandoned store and some residences. The man identified himself as Ronald Wayne Flowers. One deputy returned to his patrol unit to enter that information into their system. The other stayed with Flowers, according to Sheriff Haas Mack. Shortly after that, the individual turned away from the deputy, turned back around, and at that time he produced a handgun. We believe he fired at least one shot towards the deputy. And at that time, both deputies returned fire. Flowers died on the scene. In less than four minutes, what had started with a conversation ended in deadly gunfire. There was no indications that this was going to go from nothing more than just an inquiry as to why you're walking down the road at 1.39 in the morning versus just a few minutes later, it results in a shooting. Both deputies were not injured. Their names have not been released. They are now on administrative leave. As for Flowers, he has an extensive criminal history. Just last August, he was released from prison after serving more than 20 years for child sex crimes out of Houston, Geneva, and Baldwin counties. Live on the Baldwin County Beat in Bay Manette, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.